Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. This is 803 Garage and today we're going to work on the John Deere. I think it's a LX88, it could be an 86, it could be an LX166, I don't really know. I think it's an uh, 188, but um, that doesn't really matter. They're all really the same. Secret. Um, first thing we're going to do is put on the chains for the tires. They're oversized, but I just put zip ties and they've always worked really, really well for me that way. Um, the thing after that, what I want to do is figure out how to install the snow thrower and to see if it actually works. Um, we won't be plowing snow tonight because it's already like eight o'clock at night and it's kind of loud. Um, I'm charging another battery for the other tractor I have. We're not going to be working on that. It's not neither here nor there. I'll be charging the battery for this thing. Um, and yeah. So let's get to it. Um, time lapse? Yeah, time lapse is good. When installing your tire chains on your lawn tractor, this could also work for normal vehicles as well. Just when you lift it up, make sure you have jack stands and it's stable. The lawn tractor is pretty easy to move, so I don't have to really worry about uh, throwing axle stands underneath it, but make sure your chains are nice and straight and facing the right way. Now that we have the tire chains preliminarily on the tractor tire itself they are loose we will rectify that with a bungee cord or a rubber strap and i will show you how to get that in there so that it keeps the tire chains nice and tight and taut to the tire if you see the hooks of the tire on the sides there they are facing out we want that if they're facing in they're installed wrong or backwards again when you put that onto the tire you want to drape it over make sure everything's straight nothing's crossed and whatnot and then you'll see here as i'm spinning the tire everything's loose the bungee cords are going to help keep the chain nice and tight and therefore you'll have the most grip possible when you're running around on your lawn tractor take, getting, basically taking care of the snow in your driveway. The zip ties are there just as a safety. If you hook this up properly with the uh, bungee cords or the rubber, rubber bands you'll see, you won't actually need them. I just have them in place because it helps me get everything all set up and everything. The hooks themselves are very adequate so you don't have to worry about that. And we want to keep this, the chain, nice and taut evenly all the way around the tractor tire. The same thing works for your vehicle, but you have better chains for that application. Now on to the next side. So I looked around the shed, found some more hardware. I believe this is for the snow thrower. And I found the other chain for the right side of the tractor. As we were talking about using a rubber strap or a bungee cord to tighten up the chains on the tires so that they don't move. This is kind of just one way to do it. You just want to have one point to the other point to kind of tighten the chains, bring them together. It's better to have like a triangle pattern or a star pattern. You can buy them in that kind of configuration. This is just what I had on hand. So basically just kind of loop it in. You don't want to go toward the tire. You want to come away from the tire so that you don't gouge the tire and or create a wear spot into the side wall of said tire. Once you do this and pull it all nice and taut, this rubber band right here actually is dry rotted, so I am not going to use it. I want to find some other ones, but I just wanted to kind of make an example before I found those other ones to show you what you can do to tighten up your tire chains. Here we are working on the tire again. I want to tighten up the chains as much as possible to decrease the amount of movement that was happening. And the rubber band or the bungee cord will help a lot in that. Physically, I can just tighten it up the chains themselves. As you can see, there wasn't a lot of correction that was needed. The other side of the tire was already really tight and it was nice and big and wide. Sorry, the other side of the tire was nice and big and wide for the, uh, the chains. I was already in a nice position in the way. Um, going on to the other side, I chose to put a, like a, just a rubber uh, band or whatever. Just a little strap, hook it all together. You could use a bungee cord too. Um, you could have two points of contact or you could get it, like weave it through or get one that has multi points for this kind of stuff. Obviously, the bigger the tire, the easier it is to do this kind of stuff. Um, you don't want there to be a lot of movement in the tire. This is this is going to be a, on a long tractor, so it doesn't really matter. If you're going on the highway, you don't want the chain slap, is what I learned. The other thing is, when you're laying out the, getting the chain, you want to lay it out and then see, get it all organized for the tire. Now, this would be the bottom part. Sorry, this would be the top part. Having this when against the tire is what you want, so you don't have the sharp edges rubbing up against it. 
So we're gonna put it on the other side right now. I only have one of those cords. Um, probably have some more around here. I'll see what I have. I did it, yeah. I did end up finding two more of those rubber bands to create the Z pattern that I was talking about so that the tire is nice and taut. On this chain here, I actually uh, put it on and I had to re-put it on just to kind of reconfigure it. And I started from the inside of the tire and then I worked on the outside and I found that to be, for me, to be a better application. Okay, so we have our chains installed and I made sure I had enough clearance on either side so nothing was hitting. You'll hear the chains changing. This kind of jangling around. That's not really a big deal. This vehicle doesn't go on highways, but they're installed. So I'm pretty happy with that. As you can see, they're not balanced. Again, these are not highway chains. They're for a lawn tractor. The, uh, the best idea was to have your uh, bungee cords tightening in on the, uh, the chains themselves to keep them nice and taut. So that was pretty awesome. If anybody watches this, hopefully this video helps them. So this is part one of getting the snow blower, snow thrower, John Deere tractor ready for uh, clearing the driveway. Please like, share, please like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you all in the next one. Peace.